Attackers are frequently trying to perform reconnaissance activities against our networks in order to find potential weaknesses or vulnerabilities that they can then exploit. But how can we detect, prevent, and respond to these reconnaissance activities? In this video, we're gonna not only talk about the various security tools that we can use to identify reconnaissance activities, but also how we can prevent attackers from performing these activities. But first, if this is the first time that we're meeting, welcome to my channel. My name is John Good, and here I get to spread my passion for cybersecurity training, tips and tricks, and career advice to help you go further. Remember to smash the thumbs up to like this video, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss future content, and make sure to leave a comment for the YouTube algorithm. If you like my training and you want more, check out my website at johngood.com to get access to training courses without distracting interruptions or advertisements. Make sure that you sign up for my newsletter using the link in the description to get a free copy of my ebook on cybersecurity careers. You can also join me on the Discord server. The link is in the description. All right, let's get into the video. One of the most important requirements in detecting reconnaissance activities is to capture traffic associated to those activities. A good starting point of capturing traffic is where different trust zones in your network meet. For example, where your internal network meets with the demilitarized zone or the DMZ. Fortunately, intrusion detection systems and intrusion prevention systems can identify a lot of traditionally suspicious behavior, things like vulnerability scanners, but we need to know what normal activity looks like because that can help us catch traffic that's not flagged by a tool. All of your monitoring data should be centrally monitored in a SIM tool so that you can perform in-depth analysis and you can correlate different events with each other. That way you can start to connect the dots between different events. You might use a combination of several of these different analysis methods throughout your network. We have anomaly analysis, and this is where we're looking for activity that's not normal, and this is one of the most traditional methods. We have trend analysis, where we establish a baseline of activity, and then we look for trends that differ, such as growing traffic in a certain part of our network. Signature analysis is where we have a database of known signatures, so known attacks, that we can compare activity against. This is similar to things like antivirus software. We have heuristic analysis, and this focuses primarily on what a threat does versus a known signature. And then manual analysis requires skilled employees to analyze the data. Limiting the amount of reconnaissance information available for attackers is crucial in minimizing attacks. The more information an attacker can gather about your organization, the higher chance they have of being successful. To prevent this type of reconnaissance, you want to use intrusion prevention systems or intrusion detection systems, use monitoring tools such as SIM tools, and pay attention to the information available externally from your network, such as preventing DNS zone transfers. And then passive reconnaissance can be more challenging to prevent because it typically doesn't involve interacting with our company directly. Ways that you can limit your exposure include being careful in what you release, such as news events or job postings, and then of course, training your employees to be cautious on things like social media usage and their postings. Question of the day, what are some other ways that you can think of to prevent reconnaissance activities? Let me know down in the comment section below. In this video, we not only covered the various security tools that we can use to identify reconnaissance activities, but also how we can prevent attackers from performing these activities. As always, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my website at johngood.com for more training without distracting interruptions or advertisements, and I'll see you next time.